Now that we've got everything nice and clean, we need to put it back together. We need to take the 72 pin cartridge connector and put it back on the circuit board before we can put everything back in the case. Now, we've got the bottom edge of this that has the holes for the screw attachments, and you've got the top part that sticks out further. See how that is there. I'm going to put this thing down flat, spin it around so it faces your circuit board. So you've got the green side up here. And what you want to do, is flip this up so you can see what's happening. You've got the holes on each side here. And you've got the holes in the black part. Those are going to line up. So what we want to do is take this and set it gently into the spot here. Now if you look at the board, you've got the, the black plastic on top of the circuit board here. You've got the black plastic on top of the circuit board here. Now if we take those things and just pull it together, see it lock into place just like a cartridge would basically in the other port except with the board. So we've made that connection. Turn this back around. The holes are going to line up correctly. The holes line up correctly. The black is on top of the board on both sides. Over here. <clears throat> and looking at the green side of the board, we have a cartridge connector available. And this looks a lot like it looked when you started taking it apart, right? It should look familiar at this point. So we've got that back on there, nice and tight. All right, we need to reattach the cables to the motherboard. So take the blue one, just pop it right back into the blue port. Should be easy to figure that one out. Just wedge that back in there. The cord that's coming out from controller port two, or basically from behind controller port two, is going to go into the one next to that. Lock that in there. And the third one that's coming out from behind controller port one it's going to go into this last piece right here. Once you've got those cables reattached, the board flips back over. So now we've got <coughs> the cartridge port side up. And what you need to do is you take the RF port. We've got the stuff sticking out there. You've got the hole in the shell for it. You just need to lift up your board and tuck it into place. If you set it in the right spot, it should sit right back into its original location and be ready to go. All right, and you wiggle it around a little bit, it's locked in. If you've got it in the right spot, you can't move it out of place now unless you lift. So we know we've got it. Our, our screw holes are going to line up in the corners. Everything's good to go here. The next thing we need to do is to slip the cartridge tray back around the cartridge port. You got the, the back end of this. It's got this open slot here. And to kind of think of that as being the cartridge where a cartridge might go. So we take that, you can see down in there. What you need to do is take the opening that's on the back of the tray and put it around the port. So the plastic part has to be lifted up a little bit so that you can tuck it under. If you look at the board over here, see that our plastic tray is on top of the cartridge port connector here, right here. So then we've got the new black piece on top of the old black piece on top of the motherboard. So if we slide it back together now, let's kind of push it back in. You'll hear a click there. The tricky part, if you look up underneath the board here, is that there's this lip. See the, the sort of black lip that comes down off of the tray. So it's got to tuck under the motherboard. You can see the edge here. So you've got the black tray on top of the board there. That black lip there is under the board. And then the black edge here is back on top. So you've basically got to sneak the thing on top of this part in the back while simultaneously getting it underneath the edge in the front. All right, looking at the back edge again now is where we just reassembled the tray. When you took it apart, you had six screws that held this down. 
You may have noticed that two of the screws were slightly longer than the other four. The longer ones are going to go in the, this slot and in this slot, closer to the board. This has to go through three layers. The other ones only have to go through two. Now when we put these on, don't tighten them down too much. Just kind of get it in there so it holds in place. Put the next two in there. And the reason why you don't want to lock it down too far yet is because we might have to make an adjustment. If you don't have it in the right spot, when you go to stick a cartridge in, it's not going to line up and you're not going to be able to push it together. That's not going to help it play any game. Now, in order to line it up and make sure everything is great so that we don't have to take it back apart a bunch of times trying to fix things, I'm going to flip it around here. And to make sure the alignment is good, all we need to do is take one of our freshly cleaned cartridges, slide it in there, put it in the slot, and lock it down, just like you would if it was ready to play. Now we can be sure that we've got the thing in the right spot. It doesn't need to wiggle one way or the other. We're good. So let's put the other two screws in right now. This came. It should just be the process of reversing what you did when you took it apart, if you were paying attention. If not, you can always go back and watch that video to see what happened. But there we go. All right, lock that down there. I'm gonna tighten the other four screws now. Since we know it's not going to need to be tweaked around. There we go. And then you can take that game right back out of there. And we're good as far as that goes. So now that's back in. there. Let's get there. We're lined up on the ports in the back. We're lined up with the ports on the side. We're almost there. Stick the RF shield back on top. It's kind of going from this edge. Stick it in there. And get in there and line up the holes. And you should be good to go. Pretty easy. And put your 10 screws back in. All right, we got the screws back in there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the little fella that we didn't really need to take out, but it's usually helpful anyway, 10. All we need to do is put the lid back on and give it a test. Put the six screws back in the six corner slots you took them out of. Should be pretty obvious, huh? All right, so now it's all back together. It's nice and clean. No signs of all the crud that was there before. Still a little bit of crud on there, I guess. But, uh, that's more of a discoloration thing. You will see these things occasionally turn into sort of an ugly yellow color that's just from the plastic going bad. Uh, overall, it's in a lot better shape than it was before, but, but does it work? All right, we got it hooked up. We'll take the cartridge that we just cleaned up, stick it in the newly repaired and clean deck. Lock it down. And hopefully when we hit the on button, it should go. There you go. No blinks, no problems. Let's take that out of there. We'll take another one of the ones we just cleaned up. Stick it in there. And there it goes. All right, I think uh, mission is successful. Ah, uh, uh, Adonis, pull yourself together.